This is how to crochet a plain stress ball, part seven. We are on row 10 and we are starting the decreases. And I thought I could do something special and do three different kinds of decreases. So for the first one, we're gonna insert the hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop, insert the hook into the second stitch, pull up another loop, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through three for the standard way to do a decrease. Then I'm going to add a single crochet into the next two stitches. And then I'm going to the going to do the modified version of a decrease. I'm going to insert my hook into the front loop of the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the front loop of the second stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through three. And now my decrease bump is going to be a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to add a single crochet into two stitches, and then I'm going to do the other modified decrease. So I'm going to pick up the front loop of the first stitch and I'm going to pick up the front loop of the second stitch Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both front loops, yarn over and pull through two, and now the bump is minimized. So the first decrease was a standard decrease, the second decrease was a invisible decrease, and then the third decrease, I'm going to call it the undetectable decrease because it looks just like a single crochet, you wouldn't even know it wasn't but to repeat the pattern, we are going to add a single crochet into two, then a decrease, single crochet into two, decrease, all the way until we get back to the stitch marker. You should end with um, just a regular single crochet in the last stitch. Well, technically two, but you know what I mean. This is not, I said this at the beginning, this isn't a beginner tutorial on how to make a ball. Um, if you want to work with Plarn and make something other than a mat, you uh, probably have to be able to do this without plastic yarn and just regular yarn and I have a whole video series on that so I figured I could have a little bit more fun with this one. I try to keep most of my content as beginner friendly as possible so I hope that you can forgive me for posting something because I was curious. I honestly was curious just how it looked and it, I know it's not easy to follow so um don't don't yeah it's my fault totally. I, I accept full responsibility for it, but if you are a little bit more advanced and you're wondering what the difference is between those three decreases, I'm going to do the same sequence with the big decrease, the invisible, and then the unidentifiable or undetectable, I don't know what I called it, all the way to the end so you can see the, the difference. So I'll see you in part eight.